Venus, our nearest planetary neighbor and often called Earth's twin. Some call it our evil twin. That's because, beneath its perpetual shroud of clouds, lies a world more alien than we could have imagined. A planet where lead would melt on the surface, where the atmosphere is thick enough to crush a submarine, and where it snows metal. Venus holds answers to our planet's future, and warnings we can't afford to ignore. Stay with us as we investigate this incredible world. Welcome to Space Videos, my friends. Thanks for joining with me today as we explain everything you could want to know about Venus. The second planet from the Sun, Venus orbits at an average distance of 108 million kilometers, or 0.72 AU. Despite being our closest planetary neighbor, Venus remains one of the most mysterious worlds in our solar system. It completes an orbit every 225 Earth days, but amazingly, its day is longer than its year, taking 243 Earth days to complete a single rotation. Even more peculiar is that Venus rotates backwards compared to most planets in our solar system, while Earth and most other planets spin counterclockwise when viewed from above their north poles, Venus spins clockwise. This retrograde rotation means that on Venus the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. The reason for this bizarre rotation remains one of Venus's many mysteries, though scientists believe it may have been caused by a collision with another large body early in its history. Venus is remarkably similar to Earth in size and mass. With a diameter of 12,104 kilometers, it's only about 650 kilometers smaller than Earth, and its mass is about 81.5% of Earth's. The surface gravity is consequently very similar to Earth's, about nine-tenths of ours. If you could stand on Venus's surface, you'd weigh almost the same as you do on Earth. But that's where the similarities end. The surface of Venus is the hottest of any planet in our solar system, with an average temperature of 462 degrees Celsius, that's 864 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt lead, and hotter even than Mercury, despite Venus being twice as far from the Sun. This extreme heat is the result of the most powerful greenhouse effect in our solar system created by Venus's thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds. Let's talk about that atmosphere. The atmospheric pressure at Venus's surface is crushing 90 times greater than Earth's at sea level. That's equivalent to the pressure you'd experience about 900 meters deep in Earth's oceans. The atmosphere is so thick that if you could stand on Venus's surface, which you couldn't, the air would feel more like a fluid than a gas. The clouds of Venus are perhaps its most distinctive feature when viewed from space. They're made primarily of sulfuric acid droplets and completely shroud the planet, reflecting about 75% of the sunlight that hits them. This makes Venus the brightest natural object in Earth's sky after the moon. The clouds create a perpetual yellowish veil making the surface permanently hidden from view in visible light. But beneath those clouds lies a landscape that we've only glimpsed through radar imaging. The surface is a rocky wasteland of volcanic plains, impact craters, and enormous highland regions. Two continent-sized plateaus dominate the northern hemisphere, Ishtar Terra, about the size of Australia, and Aphrodite Terra, roughly as large as South America. Venus is extraordinarily volcanic, with more volcanoes than any other planet in our solar system. We've identified over 1,600 major volcanoes, but there are likely many more. Recent evidence suggests that some of these volcanoes might still be active today. The entire surface appears to have been completely resurfaced by volcanic activity between 300 and 500 million years ago. One of the most intriguing features on Venus is its extensive network of channels and ridges. Unlike Earth's water-carved valleys, these were likely carved by lava flows. The longest channel, Bautis Vallis, stretches for over 6,800 kilometers longer than the Nile River on Earth. Despite being called Earth's twin, Venus shows us what Earth might have become 
or might still become, under different circumstances. Its runaway greenhouse effect serves as a stark warning about climate change. Some scientists believe Venus might once have had oceans and conditions similar to Earth before they were boiled away by rising temperatures. Venus has been visited by more spacecraft than any other planet, though exploring it is incredibly challenging. The Soviet Venera missions in the 1970s and 1980s were the only ones to successfully land and transmit images from the surface, though they only survived for a few hours in the extreme conditions. The longest surviving probe, Venera 13, lasted just 127 minutes before succumbing to the heat and pressure. Today, there's renewed interest in Venus exploration. NASA's Da Vinci Plus and Veritas missions, along with ESA's Envision, are set to explore Venus in unprecedented detail in the coming years. These missions might finally help us understand how Venus became the world it is today and what that means for Earth's future. And with this final thought, take a look at Venus through infrared cameras, revealing the complex patterns of heat and energy in its atmosphere. While Jupiter might be our solar system's guardian, Venus serves as both a warning and a mystery, a reminder that even worlds that seem familiar can hold secrets we're only beginning to understand. Thank you again for joining with us here on Space Videos. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of Venus. Did you learn something today you never knew before about the planet? And what planet would you like to see featured next in this series? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.